Pompeii was famously buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79, killing several thousands. Ever since the 18th century, excavations have been removing volcanic rock to uncover the secrets of the former ancient city. They've uncovered the remains of an extravagant villa there, which they think is where Rome's first emperor Augustus died in AD 14 to 65 years before the catastrophic eruption. Expand article logo continue reading. The villa contains huge elaborate pillars, ancient pots known as amphora that likely held wine, and even a statue of Dionysus, the Greek god of fertility. Contemporary writings by the Roman historians Tacitus, Suetonius and Cassius Dio, tell us that Augustus died in AD 14, at his family's villa near Nola, a town just north of Sama Vesuviana. Although the precise location of his resting place isn't known to be documented, the researchers think this villa is a strong contender. Our site is probably the only one, or one of only the very few, possibilities that we have. Mariko Muramatsu, University of Tokyo archaeologist, Generally, excavations of sites buried by eruptions of Mount Vesuvius have focused on Pompeii, which is south of the volcano. Meanwhile, Sama Vesuviana to the north has not been paid as much attention. Excavations around Mount Vesuvius have been ongoing since the 18th century, said Kohei Sugiyama, an archaeologist at the Institute for Advanced Global Studies at the University of Tokyo. Most exploration related to that are focused on regions to the south of the volcano, as that is where the majority of ejecta fell and damage was suffered. Previously, it had been thought that the Sama Vesuviana area was only buried during a later, less famous eruption by Mount Vesuvius in AD 472 and not by the AD 79 eruption. However, Sugiyama and colleagues now contend this, thanks to the results from analysis of volcanic rock that buried the villa, which dates from AD 79, using radiocarbon dating, and with help from volcanologists to perform extra analysis, we determined that these newly discovered sections are buried under volcanic material. From the AD 79 eruption, Sugiyama said, the Sama Vesuviana villa was actually beneath a more recent but still ancient building likely built sometime in the 2nd century AD. The researchers think that after the earlier villa was destroyed in AD 79, this later villa was built on top of it, but was likely covered by the 5th century eruption. Further excavations could confirm whether the earliest villa is indeed where Augustus spent his last living moments. It may also have been where Augustus' biological father, Gaius Octavius, died, according to Dr. Andrew Sillett, a classics lecturer at the University of Oxford, who is not involved with the project. We can cross our fingers that the University of Tokyo's efforts will be rewarded with the evidence that has so far eluded archaeologists, suggesting that this was, in fact, the very villa in which the Emperor Augustus and before him his father breathed his last. Dr. Sillett said, further excavation of this villa will also provide historians with even more invaluable insights into life on the Bay of Naples in the early years of the Roman Empire. Augustus was the first Roman emperor and led the transformation from republic to empire after his great uncle and adoptive father Julius Caesar was murdered. He was born in 63 BC with the name Octavius and adopted by Caesar in 44 BC however. Before coming into power in 26 BC the Roman Senate gave him the name Augustus, meaning exalted one, and he reigned for 40 years before dying in 14 AD at the age of 75. His reported last words were to his subjects, I found realm of clay, I leave it to you of marble. But to the friends who had stayed with him in his rise to power he added, have I played the part well? Then applaud me as I exit, according to Dr. Sillett. Most historians believe Augustus died of natural causes, although homicide is also a possibility. Ancient texts report rumors that his final illness was brought on by poisoning, allegedly by his wife Livia, keen to smooth the accession of her son Tiberius, he said. So that was all for today's video. Let us know what you think about it in the comment section and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. With that said, we will see you next time. Until then, Take care.